Huitzilopochtli. He was the god of war and the sun god. He was the patron of the Aztecs in the capital Tenochtitlan. There are two versions of his beginnings. One, he was created by the primordial deity Ometeotl, or immaculately conceived by the earth goddess Coatlicue. In the Coatlicue myth, he killed his sister, Coelxauqui, a moon deity, and his brothers, the stars, in order to save his mother. Despite slaying them, he's still in a constant battle with them, and that is the reason for the existence of day and night. When warriors died, they believed to go on to help Huitzilopochtli in his battle against his siblings. They would help him for four years before they would later be reincarnated as hummingbirds. For the initial half of the day, the warriors would help him, and afterwards the women who died in childbirth would join him and help him fight. Childbirth was conceptually seen in the Aztec religion as a female version of warfare. He required sacrifice in the form of blood and hearts. It was believed that if he didn't stay well nourished, he'd lose the fight between him and his siblings. Despite being a powerful deity, they believe that a day would come when he will lose, and when that day comes, that's going to be the end of the Aztec Empire, and the world will fall into an eternal night. He was also believed to have led the people from their ancestral home, Aztlan, to Tenochtitlan, their new capital. He also ordered them to stop referring to themselves as Aztec and call themselves the Mexica. He later separated from his people and put his sister Mali Nalshochitl in charge. She was unpopular. Huitzilopochtli was asked to return. Mila Nalshochitl was put into a deep sleep and left behind. She had her son Kopil basically be her tool of revenge. When he grew up, he eventually faced Huitzilopochtli. Kopil very expectedly lost and had his heart torn out and thrown into Lake Texcoco. A few years after that, the Aztec people were told to look for the heart and build their capital over where the heart lays. The sign to do so would be an eagle perched up on a cactus eating a serpent. 